I was working on the other side of the fuselage, the left side. I was kind of working on the throttle cable and uh, fuel selector and I was going to set up the fuel lines and start running them. As I got to looking at it, I realized that uh, it's a good possibility of, uh, of getting interference with putting in these um, screws for the, I don't know what this boot cowl or the uh, rear boot cowl or rear por portion of the cowling where it comes at back. The boot cowl comes back to here and then there's a secondary piece that comes back to here and uh, on the other airplane and quite a few of them they, they everything is put on with sheet metal screws of course and and I kinda don't like the sheet metal screws because they wind up uh, hogging the holes out and getting bigger and bigger and pretty soon you have a number 14 sheet metal screw in there holding everything on so I was gonna put nut plates in and uh, that's what I did. I, I laid out a pattern here for some nut plates. I was laying them out every three inches and there was a couple of places in here where um, I couldn't get a nut plate in there. Uh, couldn't get behind to set the nuts or the uh, rivets on a nut plate. Like here this uh, um, strut or this uh, tube goes up and then down below here there's another tube that goes up and then of course up here in the top I don't know whether it really needed um, nut plates or screws in there to hold that part of it down or not. What I did on these two and uh, this one, these two down here, is I put nut zerts in there. I'm putting in all number fours on this portion of the cowling back here that extends past the boot cowl. But I couldn't find a, a 440 mandrel for a, a nut zert. So I got this little setter here and it's a uh, Oh, this machine, this uh, here cone, and then you've got a mandrel here that goes all the way up through this uh, this bolt, and uh, it's uh, set in there with a set screw on on all the way up in the upper end, and this is a left hand threaded bolt, um, goes down in there, and uh, so you can thread the nut zert on here, and it takes a this one takes a three quarter inch wrench to hold the the cone. And then it's got this great big, uh, I don't know, oh, what is that, 3 8 inch uh, hex to turn this. So these ones in the tube like this, this one here, having this all the way out, um, where you can have the full length of this uh, threaded portion for the nut zert on there, then the tip of it um, would hit this tube back here. So we had to set this so that it was only on there part way like that so it didn't go all the way through and, and hit that uh, tube back there. I've set quite a few number six nut zerts in here and I use this uh, setter tool, thread setter tool, it's a Marson and uh, it works pretty good. This thing works like a like a pop rivet gun. Uh, everybody's familiar with a pop rivet gun has different size mandrels for the different sizes of uh, threads of, uh, of nut zerts and I was using uh, 632's there's 832's and 824's and 1032's and 1024's and, and so on up the line but what happened what I to me is if I when I would try to set these to get them hard enough in there to where they wouldn't turn or anything to get them really set. Sometimes I'd kind of set it real tight and then I'd give it just a little bit more squeeze to get it good and tight and uh, the mandrel has sheared off here, busted it off just like you would on a pop rivet but uh, not supposed to do that on these. So anyway now I gotta wait for a new mandrel before I can another new mandrel. This is the second one that I've done this longer uh, angle or channel here, U-channel here, is where the boot cowl will come back to and the secondary cowl will come up to it, the boot cowl over the top of that. And I'm going to put number six nut plates. I got some of the thin nut plates like I used on the overhead that will fit in this channel. There's no place on here that I can't get in behind with my handset tool so I don't need to use any nut certs on there.
Now I really don't need to do the bottom now because there's nothing going in here that's going to interfere with putting them in later but I've got to start at it so I might as well do it. Well, I've gone ahead and uh, got all of these nut plates in and they're number fours put stainless steel ones in on this uh, rear gingerbread this is where that uh, false boot cowl or sub boot cowl or whatever the hell the thing is called goes I'll go ahead and take some rust-oleum and touch up these uh, these uh, rivet heads on both sides I laid out the holes for this uh, boot cowl for this forward portion um, I just I just punched the holes in it but uh, I wasn't going to do anything with those for a while because there's plenty of room to get around in those uh, you don't have the problem with uh, getting around those as you do with these here when you start getting stuff in there but since I had this upside down and was doing it anyway I, w I w decided to go ahead and put the nut plates in here I've got them all drilled out countersinked um, ready to go I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, rust oleum on those uh, raw edges and uh, let it dry and then I'll go ahead and rivet those in there I went ahead and uh, uh, you can see it there with the yellow in the background. I went ahead and marked out and uh, drilled these uh, holes for this uh, boot cowl on the uh, left hand side both uh, the boot cowl and the, and the aft boot cowl, false boot cowl or whatever the hell it's called. This one's uh, drilled for the number fours and this one's drilled for the number sixes. They're all drilled, countersunk, um, deburred and then I just uh, stuck some uh, rust oleum on them to uh, cover up the bare hole edges so they're ready to go this side's not going to be as bad as I thought there's more room on this side of course just like um, every place else uh, to clear all of the paraphernalia that goes through the side panels on this side so uh, I'm not sure whether I got enough room there behind that uh, fuel selector valve without pulling the valve out of there to do that nut plate but most of the rest of them um, there's plenty of room in there for them uh, the only one is this bottom one down here and again this uh, diagonal uh, brace comes back uh, here right underneath that and then if you get down too low then they squish this channel down together where it comes down to this lower tube when it's welded on so you can't get in there either so that one I drilled out for a nut zert and uh, but all the rest of them are going to be nut plates and uh, of course for the boot cowl here that's not a problem on it at all that's uh, plenty of room behind it but once I get that done then I don't have to worry about it um, and go ahead and and uh, run all my cables and paraphernalia there and don't have to worry about drilling holes in anything any fuel lines or anything like that when they get put up there so I got both of those U-channels uh, drilled and um, put the nut plates on them again uh, number four is back here where this uh, secondary boot cowl goes and number six is here where the it and the boot cowl join together and be the rear of the boot cowl here got that uh, top and bottom I took all of the holes after reaming them out, after uh, countersinking them and everything, and I put uh, rust oleum in them so that it would keep help keep the aluminum from contacting the steel, so it insulates it, so it makes it less likely to get differential metal contact there, and it helps protect them. And then I coated each one of the uh, rivets with uh, rust oleum after uh, they were put in. Now this left side went pretty good. I didn't have any problems with it. I had a little trouble with this upper rivet in this uh, uh, nut plate here because they'd squish the uh, compress the U-channel together here where it comes up and, and welds into this tab. I had to open that up a little bit to get my uh, my rivet set in there. Other than that it all went good. I got all of them in without disassembling everything except this uh, bottom one down here with a nut zert in it and uh, got that one in okay. Well, the bottom uh, went good. It's all in. 